Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Taurus. Well, we got trash here. A low class person, not worth trying, nonsense, poor quality, worthless and useless. Okay, so that's who's coming towards you, Lion. Let's talk, tell you more about this. <laughs> We got a follower. Oh, somebody that feels like you don't see them anymore or that they're invisible to you. Somebody had a reading like this. Capricorn. Some of you guys can be a Capricorn or dealing with a Capricorn. This is somebody that's like admiring you from afar or for some of you, this was somebody that was focused on other people or something like that. Let's see. They feel like they don't have power over you anymore. And that's good. Why would you want somebody like this to have power over you? Yeah, this is somebody that's sad that something ended between the two of you. They're either sad that things are not, you, your relationship's kind of rocky right now, or they're sad that things ended between the two of you. They're sad over you. They're missing you. They're depressed. They're feeling lonely. But I feel like this was somebody that prioritized other people over you. So now they're feeling lonely. So what happened to those options, those other people that they, you know, thought were better than you or that they chose over you? Um, what is this? Uh, see, Spirit says be careful listening to anything that this person has to say because Spirit says someone is being shady, someone, someone, something is being hidden, suspicious, suspect, untrustworthy. Tell me more. This is somebody that's been keeping tabs on you. Yeah, I told you. It's like somebody that has a crush on you or somebody that's just been kind of admiring you from afar, keeping tabs on you, staying connected to you in some way, even if you don't know it. But I feel like this is somebody that's watching your social media. They could also be getting, try, you know, trying to get information on you. This is also somebody that maybe is going to come in and be like, wow, I see you doing really well for yourself. I hope you're doing well. You're looking good. Um, you know, congratulations, whatever they're going to say. But Spirit says this is BS. Like, they're not genuine, okay? Um, so it's kind of giving, get, giving love bombing energy here. Uh, that card hasn't come out yet, but tell me more. Benching. See, I swear this is somebody that tried to put you on the back burner or you guys will be putting this person on the back burner. They may be coming in and, you know, you know, blowing your phone up, blowing your messenger up, uh, trying to really get your attention. Looks like they may be reaching out to you on social media, but I don't think that you guys are going to be giving this person too much of your attention. This is definitely somebody who thought that the grass was greener or they thought that they wanted, they chose somebody over you, they they were they didn't prioritize you they were too focused on other options or other people they didn't they didn't value you and now they're sad because it looks like those options or whatever they were choosing over you isn't as fulfilling as they thought it was going to be or it, something changed or those people are gone okay we have goals so someone's jealous why is someone jealous someone's jealous of your reputation they're they're jealous that See, what is this about? They maybe have, ooh, they had some jealous people around them. Somebody has some jealous friends or some jealous family or somebody around them who maybe persuaded them or something like that, who they were trying to impress or something like that, or they, they cared too much about what these people thought about them. These people were jealous. They wanted, they could have wanted you. Like they could have had a friend around them that really wanted you and didn't want to see this person have you. Or they wanted this person and didn't want this to see you and this person together. There was something here about who they had friends, family, whoever they had in their inner circle who had a big influence on them. And whoever these people were or this person was, they did not want to see, they were jealous. They either didn't want to see this person happier with another person or they didn't want this person to have you. All right, they wanted you or something like that, or they wanted this person. Take it how it resonates. Wow. See, there's that card I saw, Cap. Yeah, what they're saying is not true. Becoming someone you're not lies. What is the lies? They're coming in and saying something here. Out in the open, obvious, letting everyone know. See. See, yeah, uh, intentionally upsetting you, trying to get a reaction, disruption, arguments, petty. They're coming. Are they trying to come in and argue with you? What are they lying about, though? That they're really in their feelings about you? They're still not wanting to come clean about their feelings and emotions. Yeah, somebody has to start acting crazy, y'all. Spirit says that this person's not worth your time and energy, especially with them coming towards you in this energy. Lost their ability to act rational. No regard for, regard for others' feelings. Overreacting. Doing too much. So what happened with all these options? These people that they were choosing over you? See... 
what I did wasn't wrong. Don't care what people think. Unremorseful bitchy. Don't care. What's the to do with anything? Shook. What are they shook about? Low key to not announce something to treat with little emphasis. There, here goes this energy where this person it was. So they maybe had people around them that were telling you to treat them in a certain treat. There are people around them telling them to treat you in a certain way. So like not like they were trying to tell them that when they were give they were giving you too much attention. They were making a fool of themselves or something like that. They thought that this was going to bait you. This was going to get you to do what they wanted you to do by them kind of like not giving you too much attention by making you, putting you on hold, putting you on the back burner, prioritizing other people in front of you. I think this person thought that this was going to make you chase them. Somebody else had a reading like this. It was either Capricorn, Taurus, I don't know, but it was somebody that I recently did. They thought that this was going to get you and somebody was telling them to do this to you. But whoever these people were that were telling them to do this to you, they knew that this was actually going to drive you away. Like th this person listened to the, some, some people that did not, that were actually working against them. And I don't think that And now those same people could be gone because why do we have this year? It's like those same people. Why is this person feeling lonely? See, throw shade. Ooh, being rude towards someone, not being liked by someone, insult, slick, disrespectful. Flatlining, yeah. What's this have to do with? Why is ghosted? Whatever you had is over, left, confused, and wondering, disappearing, act, no closure. Why do I feel like you guys just took something for what it was? They were playing games with you thinking, oh, this is going to make them want me more. No, you're like, if somebody's treating me like shit, I'm going to take it for what it is and I'm going to leave because I know I deserve better than that. And you feel like this person disrespected you. That This was some type of like manipulative way for them to like get you to like, I don't know, but not instead it had the opposite effect. Now it made you lose interest in them. Whatever they did, it made them, made you lose interest in them. Yeah. What about extra vibe that what? There it is. So somebody's coming in here. I told you, blowing up blowing up your phone, being super emotional, telling you that you're the one, they'll do anything, begging, you know, being real nice, kissing your butt. But I don't, you guys just know that something is off here with this vibe card, a sense about something, listen to your intuition. What is their intuition telling them about this person? Oh, yes, let's move on. See, what is it with my collective though? Put on blast. Finesse. You're going to call this person out for trying to finesse you? What is this yes though? Digital detox. So maybe spirit is giving you the go ahead to kind of block this person because you have somebody watching you and spying on you. Definitely multiple indications of that here. They're giving you the go ahead. If you block this person, they're telling you you did the right thing. Or if you deleted them, you stopped. Something you did here. And now what? What's happening now? See, someone's going to start acting crazy. I'm telling you, somebody's going to start acting crazy. Now they want... This person didn't expect things to turn out this way. Spirit says you made the, did the right thing, though. Okay? Um, yeah, somebody's about... I feel like some of you guys blocked this person. You, you guys felt that this person was watching you. Yeah, you felt that they were watching you, keeping tabs on you, so you possibly blocked them, and now they're about to start acting crazy. They thought that this person was thinking that you were going to, like, chase them, that this was going to get you to come toward them, and this was, was what somebody told them to do. Their circle, their friends, their family, whoever they have around them was telling them, oh, do this to the collective. It'll get them to, you know, start chasing you and to want you more and blah, blah, blah. But it actually backfired. And these people knew it was going to backfire. They were jealous. They either wanted you or they wanted your person. They're either possessive over you or possessive over your person. Take how it resonates. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Before I move on to the next deck, how does this person feel now? How do they feel now that the, the, the plan? I mean, obviously they're upset because. But. How are they feeling about the fact that it didn't work out the way that they thought it was? Now they're afraid that they've missed an opportunity. Yep. Fear of missing out. Fear of missing an opportunity. Feeling pressure at choices. Yep. Tell me more. See, now they're coming back. Yep. But Spirit says, don't be a doormat. Wow. What is making 
them realize that it's backfiring? Is it because you blocked them? What's making this person realize that you're you're not coming back? That you are feeling very disrespected and turned off by this? What is making this person know that you they're about to miss out on you? What's making them feel like they're missing out? Avoid it. What about that? Low key. I'm telling you. Okay. Glow up. See. Savage. See, you're in this different energy where you're looking better than you did before. You're in this energy where you're not taking shit from people. Yeah. What's the for a squad? Bye, Felicia. Yeah. So what's the name for this person? They're shook. See, are they mad that these other people, what did their squad do? They're mad that they listen to these people. I'm telling you. All they what they should have did was just been honest and truthful with you. But they have these people around them telling them to like stay low key, to not give you too much attention, to not be too open with their feelings and emotions for you, to be secretive, to hide things from you. I don't know why. And now they're shocked that you left. Yeah, they told somebody was telling them to like play these games with you, to not put in too much effort, to keep their options open. And now, with the, see, and now, now you're about to hear from them, but they're not coming in with anything. They're coming in very prideful, and this is how they always come in. <laughs> yeah. They, they always come in trying to, like, wear this facade, trying to make themselves look better than they are. And I feel like you guys see this about this person now. What is that? What about feelings? Understanding what? You're under, yeah, you have an understanding of something now. Yeah, you've awakened to something that what? Yeah, what about digital detox? That you need to block this person? I'm telling you, they're giving you the go ahead here to do something. To disconnect, clean up your digital. What's this have to do with my collective? See, some of you guys block this person or you disconnected from them. And you just started focusing on your money or a side hustle. Or if you have a business, you've been focusing on that or trying to make some new money. And I feel like that's really going to be paying off for you. All right. I don't know. Somebody was trying to just like, they were trying to reel you back in or something like that. But they, they were being very strategic with you. Like they, they thought that this plan was going to really get you to like, to, to reel you back in. And th they were getting this advice from other people. And it didn't turn out the way that these people were telling them that it was going to. This person needs to learn how to think for themselves. All right. Um, what else can we take a look at here? Let's get some tarot, I guess. That's crazy. They were gossiping about you or there, there were people around them that had, you know, they were throwing in their two cents, telling them to put you on hold. Don't fully commit to you yet. See if there's greener grass out there. Don't give them too much of your energy. Blah, 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 blah. They'll wait. You know, no, this will actually make them want you more. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and it didn't work out that way because it said they underestimated you or... They thought you were like other like somebody else they had dealt with or something like that. So we have them. Yeah, they didn't they didn't weren't really realizing that you're the nine of pentacles. Okay. See, I think this person's used to dealing with people that need them or that are codependent or low self-esteem or you know, are yeah, and you don't need this person. You have everything within yourself. You're independent, you're successful. It's like they played with the wrong person. Like they played, they tried to play the act, the catch in the situation. How are you going to try to play and manipulate and take a gamble when losing the catch? Like you have a catch, right? And it's almost like they were dumb. This is stupid. This is this was a very stupid move. Yep, death. See, you guys have possibly changed too because maybe at some point you used to be codependent on this person, Scorpio energy here, um, or. A, but now you're not. You're like at this. You're like I don't need them. I can be okay without them. You definitely like ended things with this person. You just been self focused. We have the Six of Pentacles here. We have the Emperor. I'm telling you guys, you guys are in this energy where you stepped into your Empress or your Emperor energy. Very abundant, knowing your worth, standing on it, um, nurturing yourself, nurturing your projects, your children, whatever it is. Very beautiful, caring, nurturing. Like you're. You've really um, leveled up here, and you're on the brink of some type of new beginning. We have Taurus and Aquarius energy here. The Fool is Aquarius. 
Yeah, you're on the verge of a new beginning, but we have the here font in reverse. It's more Taurus energy. What about the here font in reverse, the world in reverse? There's a lot of major arcanas here. Some big changes are coming. Libra energy. What's not so the seven of wands in reverse, giving up. Something's not over, but somebody's about to surrender or something here. Yep. Somebody is about to surrender because they're realizing that they cannot manipulate you anymore. Those games don't work on you. King of Wands on the back of the deck. Aries Leo Sag energy. It's almost like they're bowing down to the Empress or the Emperor. They're they're realizing that they can't they can't do you like they've done other people. They they're I feel like they're realizing that they have to come towards you different. And by different, I mean change. Death death card here. They have to go through a transformation. They got to get out of this non-committal energy that they're in. For some of you, it's a Taurus. It's not over, but um, yeah. Now that now somebody wants to move something forward here or take some type of action to 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 bring it bring it. How do I say that? To unite with you, um, because they're they don't want to miss out on this opportunity. Why do we have two kings here though? King of Swords, see the Magician in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. See, why was this person viewing you delays? There's something about the way that they were viewing you. What, what's the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Spirit? The Devil in reverse. Oh, this could be somebody else. Somebody's walking away from something um, toxic. This is either you walking away from this person because you feel like they're toxic or they're walking away from somebody who's toxic. All right, Capricorn energy. What's this have to do with my collective, though? The Devil in reverse? No, I feel like you guys are, this is you guys leaving this person alone because you're sick of the toxicity. You're sick of the conflict. You're just sick of them disappointing you, the turmoil, them being wishy-washy and moody. Yeah, them not wanting to give you what you deserve but being jealous of you being with anybody else. Them setting, like, you know, being very unrealistic, like promising you a lot but not following through. What about the Queen of Wands? What about the Queen of Wands? Let's see, what is it doing my collector though? This person is still with a karmic or something like that. There's still somebody that this person um, is maybe dealing with or that they rushed into something with or something like that because maybe they financial reasons could be a, a fire sign. Tell me more about the world in reverse. That See, they're going through it, guys. Wherever they're at, they're going through it. They're not happy. There's a lot of, that's why they feel lonely. Even if they're with another person, they feel lonely. The four of wands, they feel like you're very stable compared to whoever they chose over you. Yeah, they feel like you're very stable. And now they're heartbroken because you're you're leaving them behind. They chose the wrong person. They did, they took a gamble. They did something stupid because they were listening to the wrong people. They played games with you instead of you getting you to chase them and to, to surrender to them and do what you know they wanted you to do. You you just left. You were like, no, I know my worth now. I'm not settling for this bullshit. I'm not playing games with you. So you walked away from them. You're leaving them behind. Now they're heartbroken because they're in some type of other situation with somebody where there is no stability. It's a lot of disharmony there. There's a lot of financial insecurity there. Yeah, see, two of pentacles. See the magician again. Virgo, um, Gemini, Aries energy for me. What are they? They've been weighing their options, but... What is the magician? I feel like they didn't want you to know this. Yeah, what about, what's the do with my collective? The five of swords. See, the ten. They don't want you to know that they have a lot of conflict when it comes to money on their end. What's the do with the collective, though? See, somebody is really in their head about whether or not they want to choose you or stay in this situation. Why are they so conflicted, though? See, justice in reverse. Maybe they think it's going to lead to some type of legal issues or maybe they don't want to take accountability for something or what are they struggling with here? Yeah, healing, balance. Yeah, there's something that they don't they're afraid of here or that they're not wanting to do. What is it that they're avoiding doing by leave, when they leave that situation? They're afraid of some type of painful ending or... What are they afraid of? What are they afraid of? There's something that they're not wanting to give up. What are they seeing clearly now? 
they don't feel good enough for you guys. I'm telling you, it always comes out like that. They don't feel good enough. Um, what about the King of Pentacles? Mm, they made a wrong decision, guys. That's all I can say. I feel like they were trying to have you and this other person. And I feel like they had people around them that were telling them to do that and weigh their options. And <sighs> y'all, yeah. um, what else was I going to take a look at before I moved over to the extended? Let's get a few of these. Anything else that they need to know about the situation? What does my collective specifically need to know about this connection that came through in their reading? What do they need to know, Spirit? I, I'm telling you, what is that energy? That's not true. I mean, some of you guys could be spending time more time with yourself. But I feel like this is, you guys could be closed off from this person. But there's this energy of them feeling lonely. Like they're alone now. Tell me more. Friendly love. Unrequired. Oh, did they did they want somebody that didn't want them? Or do they feel like you no longer want them? Or what was I gonna say? Or were they with somebody where they don't really even want that person, but they got together with them for the wrong reasons? Yeah, something is strictly platonic. Wow, guys. See, this is so what is what, what were they trying to do with you then? They were trying to have that other person. They know that you're better than this. See, keeping options open, someone else. Yeah. Secret admirer. I told you, secretly watching you, secret feelings. What's this have to do with my collective, though? Find you attractive, okay? Pride getting in the way. Yeah, refusing to budge, wanting to be right. Yeah, I was kind of getting that. They don't want to have to admit that they were wrong or that they... They could be literally, like, they could have rushed into a situation with somebody, right? Thinking that it was going to bring them financial stability, Come to find out they don't even like that person. They maybe thought they did at first, or maybe for some of you they knew that they didn't like that person, right? But they got into that situation for the wrong reasons. I don't, it's something here about this person being delusional. They maybe at first thought that that was going to be, bring them happiness, bring them fulfillment, bring them stability. But now they're seeing that that's not the case and they don't even like that person. And now they're kind of isolating themselves from that other person because they, they don't have romantic feelings for that person. They, it's like they feel like a platonic feelings for that person, like friends. Ugh. It's like they don't want to have to come back towards you and be like, look, I was wrong. I, I didn't do right by you. They're not wanting to take accountability. Yeah, of course. Twin flame love is coming out. Yin yang, mirror, soul, telepathy. This person doesn't like what you show them about themselves. Trust your intuition. You are right. Strong intuition. What is your intuition right about? We have boundary. That you need to have your boundaries in place with this person. Yeah, enforce your boundaries. Protect yourself. Yeah. What else came out? We have spiritual purpose. So, yes, there is a spiritual purpose or, purpose or you were meant to meet this person. Uh, big lesson. See, they're feeling like you're abandoning them. This kind of came out in the twin flame reading that I did earlier. So, you may want to go watch that too, but it says ghosted, unwanted, breakup, sad. So, but they play, I'm telling you guys, they play games and yeah, they had somebody in here where they like, they either offered a commitment to somebody who like they, the feelings left as fast as they came, they left. You know what I mean? Like playing hard to get being a tease. Yeah. That's what they were doing transitional love they like, even use somebody to like get make you jealous or something like that bad habits yep repetitive bad patterns no change what is making it playing the field yeah stuck between two cheater player keeping things open making lifestyle changes that's what they need to do what is um making it official in the mix why is it in that diluting the truth see White lies don't want to hurt you. What's this have to do with my collective? Past life karma. See, they had somebody else that they were still with or dealing with. And I feel like this person kept telling you that you guys were going to be together. You guys, that they were, you guys were official or you guys were going to get serious. They weren't playing games with you, but they were. Why were they doing this? Change of heart. Major change in feelings, okay? In what way? So now they're starting to feel like you're the one. Maybe this person... What about past? Where does this come from? Worth waiting for. Self-sabotaging behaviors. See? String, they were stringing you along while they had somebody else that they had not completed a karmic cycle with. Yep. 
See, they thought that that situation was maybe going to be better or they thought that there was something better. Yeah, but they also wanted to continue to like, yeah, no serious intentions. What now, though? Now they're feeling lonely. They knew that they liked sleeping with you. Yeah, but what? when least expected, what? Third party involved. You'll be surprised about third party involved. Surface level bond. See, didn't I say this? Look, guys, very clear. Work and finances and surface level bond. It's, and this card literally says on it, together for the wrong reasons. I already said that. So they were with somebody else. What was least, when least expected? They will return. So yeah, you're not, they're going to come back out of nowhere. But this is definitely somebody who like, they played you. They tried to play games with you. They tried to tell you that they, they were serious about you, that you guys were official or that you guys would make it official, that this was going somewhere. When in reality, this person was stuck between you and somebody else. And the weirdest thing about it got, and they've been avoiding making a decision between the two. All right. The weirdest thing about it, guys, is that this other person, they don't even like them. It's almost like this person's been trying to choose between, like, how do they really feel about you? How do they really feel about you? They view you as somebody that they could have a future with. Marriage, the one. They view you as the one. But they play games with the one. Wow. Because whoever this other person is, they don't have romantic feelings for them. That's why they feel alone. They may be with, living with that person. They may be with them physically, but they don't sleep with that person. They are not attracted to that person. They're not romantically interested in that person. They got together with that person because of financial reasons. They're with that person for the wrong reasons. So why have they not been choosing to leave that situation alone and get together with my collective? Yes, I know that you guys are in no contact, but why are they not choosing the collective? See, avoiding an escapism, not facing reality and depression. There's something that they don't want to, to face. What is it? What are they avoiding and trying to escape? What are they trying to avoid and escape? This person just is not, they're, they're choosing a surface level bond over being with you because they actually feel something deep for you and they're not ready for it. They're very guarded. They're slow to trust. Yeah. Yeah. But we have surprising events. This person's about to show you just how obsessed with you they are. And that's probably what I'm about to name this reading. Somebody's about to show you how obsessed they are with having another chance with you. They've been already, they want to clear things up with you. They've been thinking about reaching out to you. They are going to do it. But this person needs, has, needs a, a lot of healing, okay? And a lot, they need to do a lot of work on themselves. And they have a situation ship that they need to get handled out. They need to figure that situation out. See, be careful this person trying to reach out to you because they want to sleep with you. Because I do see that energy as well. They're still entertaining that other situation or in that other situation. But wanting that sexual and emotional connection that the two of you have because they don't have it with anybody else. That lonely energy is kind of giving me like, dang, I'm in drought. I'm not getting any affection. I'm not getting any love. I'm not getting any sex because like this person that I am chose over the collective or who I chose to be with, I don't even like them like that. Wow. All right, I'll. All right, I'll.